Police departments across the country are buying cell phone tracking equipment that is cheaper, smaller, and more covert than ever before. Here's a general idea of how they work. When a cell phone communicates with a cell tower, it sends out radio waves on a certain frequency. These gadgets monitor those radio waves and see how strong they are. The person holding the tracking device then moves around, and the device can see whether the radio signals get weaker or stronger. This way, the investigator can use the device to pinpoint the phone's location. This method of detecting radio waves has some drawbacks. If there are many cell phones in the area, it may not be possible to zero in on a particular phone. Other tracking devices are more sophisticated. But the new gadgets are much smaller. They can be held in a hand or pocket and have antennas that can be mounted on clothes. They're also relatively inexpensive, costing just a few thousand dollars a piece. That means smaller police departments may be able to afford them, making their use more widespread. And that has some civil liberties advocates worried, because using them without a court order to find phones inside people's homes could violate their constitutional right to privacy. But so far, because investigative methods are kept secret, it's not known for certain how the devices are being used.